before I started at Table Grace, I was more worried about the drugs and everything else, and now I'm about working and actually doing something with my life as opposed to just getting by and barely surviving. Now I'm more about what can I do to make myself better. I actually kind of stumbled across it on accident. Um, my neighbor Sean was telling me about this place downtown that you could eat for pennies in your pocket and get a really good meal and I didn't believe him because he drank a lot but then I, he told me the address and I was looking around for it and I could never find it for whatever reason. And I came in and I was like, hey, hey I heard so much about this place and then I became a regular patron while I was uh, pregnant and this is the probably only good meal I would have during the daytime. <laughs> I still don't know about that one. <laughs> I failed the program three different times because I had a newborn son and I just, he would either get sick or I would be too tired because I was up all night and I just when I come in and I would tell Matt that I, I couldn't make it and I would do it you know, more than enough times to have to restart the program and I the third time I was actually told that I had to start doing uh, volunteer hours for my ABC checks and then it kind of rolled downhill from there. Um, Matt actually has told me that the person that walked in his door before he would never have hired and from just volunteering here, I became so much better than I was before. <laughs> That's a good question. I really don't know. Um, I have become a Surf Safe certified. Um, I took the international certification test, which I didn't realize I was doing the international one. I thought I was just getting state certified. In fact, I don't think Matt knew I was doing the international test either because my, my certificate looks so different from everyone else's. And that's actually probably one of my proudest achievements besides graduating high school. Moral support. I, I count on everybody that I work with. I, I know I could come to Matt and say, hey, I just need someone to talk to. and. We'll come downstairs or, you know, just, you know, go off to the back of the kitchen and, you know, have our little talk and then, you know, I usually feel better or um, when my son was removed, Matt told me that he would do whatever, whatever he needed to to help me with getting him back and I, I think he really has. He let me stay volunteering even when I felt like I was messing up big time, I, I was slacking. Um, I've gotten on my medication so I'm even better, more proficient at working than I was before. I've even noticed it because it takes me 20 minutes to roll pizzas when it used to take me 45. Yeah, so that's actually, um, I went from being one of the homeless people just wandering the streets and after, after I was done at work because between 2.30, 2.45 when I get off, I would have to, an hour to an hour and a half to wait for a bus to go out to the open door mission and I was basically just hanging around the same people that I was before and now that I don't have to go out there, I have select few people that I actually spend my time with outside of work and those people are very positive influences on me now and I'm, I'm very lucky to have them because they've been, they've been there this whole time, but they were more on the sidelines watching me go through my struggles. They were there for me if I needed them, but I really didn't utilize them until probably the last couple months. And with them telling me, keep going, keep going, you're doing good, I've been, I'm doing good. My son's coming home on Monday, something that six months ago I was unsure about, and now I'm absolutely certain that he's coming home. Um, 
I think Table Grace is probably one of the most positive places downtown. I mean, it truly is a blessing to all of the people down here. We have our regular customers that they walk in the door and I can name them by name. And there's a few of them that I, I don't know their name quite yet because they they come in and they're you know surly and you know grumpy, so I don't ask them their names. But like um, we have Rudy and you know several of my friends come in and they they actually come in just because they enjoy you know the service, the atmosphere. I mean, you will never find another cafe like this where you have big wigs from you know First National Bank rubbing elbows with someone that lives down at Francis House. And actually, those two having a conversation for the entire time are open, and it, it, it was amazing watching that. I love it. It's, you, you can't even go to like Smoke Pit up the street from here, where they're right next door to a sleeping room, and you don't see the different groups of people interacting with each other. You, it, it's only here that I found that, and it's amazing. I see myself staying here with Table Grace. Um, my dad wants me to move out to Colorado with him and I actually told him today that I'm probably not going out there because I, so much has happened to me from working here and this place is just such a positive influence on my life that w without it I'm surely to stumble and fall back into my old ways and I, I can't afford to go back to that person because that person was very self-centered, very immature, and you know, now I'm, I'm a mom. I'm not just this person who has a baby. I'm, I'm mom now, and that is my life because I've watched, you know, I think with this working here, I've watched so many of the women come through that they've lost their children. They are not never gonna get their child back and I made I made a promise to myself I refuse to let that happen. I absolutely would not let it happen and with the support here because every time I go to court I come back and tell Matt what's going on, um, let him know, you know, even if it was bad news that, you know, I got sanctioned at court or, you know, I had you know, um, I just, I've never had a, a dirty drug scan, but every time you miss a drug scan, it's positive automatically. So I've, I've had a few of those because um, I was either sick or whatever, but, um, you know, I ha I'm not saying that I'm any better than anybody now. I'm just a better person than I used to be. And I, I owe it to Matt and Andrea and even you can. <laughs> I mean, without positive people in my life, I would still probably be hopping from couch to couch, going from shelter to shelter, just being happy to be homeless. And I have my own home now. I'm, I'm never going back to being homeless. I can lock my door at night and know that nobody's coming in my door. And it, that's probably the most wonderful feeling I can ever say I've ever had, besides having a baby.